welcome to another episode of Retro Fit Garage. Hey. Oh. guys so welcome to the first episode of retrofit garage so essentially guys what we're doing today is we're converting our cars from our summer setup to our winter setup yeah um, we kind of have to do that where we live because we get a lot of snow uh, lots of salt on the roads and trust me it is not pretty for the cars but you can drift because we have some rear wheel drive BMWs oh, yeah. so we can uh, you know go slang slang in the yeah. snow yeah. Hey. We're just gonna go through like a quick checklist of all the different things you should do to get ready for winter. So the first thing you wanna do is get winter tires. You're like, oh no, I gotta get winter tires. Like, it's always good to be prepared and you know, checking how much depth you have in your tires. Like here, I got a lot of groove left. The next thing you guys wanna do to get your car ready for winter is rust proofing. Okay, so essentially, um, I'm using fluid film, uh, power rust corrosion inhibitors. Um, just trying to get this all around the suspension, moving parts, the brake lines, uh, metal brake lines, bushings, whatever the case is, or just anywhere where salt and water would collect. So if you look at my, my lug nut here, you can see it's really rusty. So what I like to do to prevent this from getting any worse is I give a little WD-40, right? And you could take a wire brush or whatever you got and kind of clean all the rust off. So, as I clean off the excess WD-40, let me look here, look at that. It looks a lot better than how it did before. Another thing you can also do is service your brakes. All right, all right, in between here, got fresh meat. As you can see, Tevin here, he's actually spraying his brake over with a nice silver high heat paint. So, one thing I'm doing right now, I'm actually setting up my suspension properly and uh, raising up my car a bit. And also what I'm doing is uh, decreasing the length of my shock absorbers so I'm not hitting the bump stop, which will give me more suspension travel. What that means in layman's terms is that my suspension was not set up properly originally. It was set up too tight. So every time I hit a bot every time I hit a bump, it would be very close to bottoming out. And if I hit a bump too hard, it would hit the top of the bump stop and uh, the whole car would just bounce up in the air because it's not using the full suspension travel. Alright guys, so these here, these are some homemade coilover covers. Uh, I made these last year. It's made from neoprene. Basically we got Velcro on the inside, well on both sides, and I'll show you how it looks on the car. Okay, so as you guys can see there, those are the coilover covers. It's just a nice piece of neoprene uh, that you put over the coil, and it pretty much just keeps everything protected from the elements uh, throughout the winter. We put his diesel two, what was it, two inch? Two inch spacers on there, Jeez. Okay, so the next thing that's really important is the things that you carry in your trunk. Number one, jumper cables. You never know when somebody else or yourself may need a boost. Number two, a snow scraper. Number three, maybe even a small shovel, because you never know. As you guys can see from this clip right here, you know, it's pretty easy to get stuck especially in the winter um, even especially if you have a low car and you can save yourself a lot of money with towing fees if you just get yourself a tow strap the last thing we want to talk about guys um, and this one's this one's kind of subjective because you know everybody drives differently but the last thing you want to really kind of do to get ready for winter is adjust your driving habits mm -hmm. you might be used to banging gears all the time you might be used to pushing a certain weight you got to slow down you got to slow down because as much as your your car might have traction at those high speeds at the end of the day you never know when someone's going to come in front of you yeah. and you need to stop on a dime and the Be physics will not allow you to do yeah. that okay guys so um Pretty much, I hope we covered everything that you might want to know uh, just to get ready for winter. Take your time. You always have less traction in the snow, so uh, as much as it can be fun to uh, drift and stuff, you gotta remember, just remember you gotta stay safe. Like, you just want to survive the winter just so you could have your summer fun. Too. Trust me, I've been there before I even got to make it to the summer. Well, actually, barely make it through the winter. 
I was not ready and rest in peace. Second gen Second talent. Second gen, <laughs> real talent, turbo, all go drive. But yeah, so guys, keep your eyes out for our next video, which is actually gonna be on how to make your own diffuser uh, for pretty cheap just using some scrap stuff. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the like button and uh, hit the subscri subscribe. Hey, hey, Thanks. Hey, hey, hey. All right, <laughs> peace out.